This is Baggins. He's my dog and he's 15 years old. He's sleeping outside at the moment. And recently he had an operation on his ear and you can see his stitches. He had a hematoma and he had to have it cut out by the vet. And then I picked him up after the operation and he came home. And he's been resting ever since. If we think about the example and the evidence that we have about Baggins, Baggins did not like going to the vet because they put a needle into his ear. But he lets me feed him his medicine and spends lots of time sleeping to get better. You can watch the things that I've talked about. You can watch the vet put a needle in his ear. You can watch me feed him his medicine and you can watch him sleeping. That's what makes these things examples of the evidence that we have about Baggins. If we talk about the abstract ideas about Baggins and his surgery, we could say Baggins showed apprehension before his surgery, but he's being patient and determined to make a full recovery. This includes many more abstract concepts. Once we've talked in an abstract concept, then we can use the examples in the rest of our paragraph. So to write a good topic sentence, we need to think about the abstract ideas that we want to talk about. If we talk about the things that we can see and touch and feel, then those are our examples and our evidence. Think about the bigger picture when you introduce your topic sentence.